Good evening, staff and faculty. The past week, and particularly the past few days, have proven to be an unprecedented time in our lifetimes, and certainly the most challenging time for me as your president. At the end of the day, the overarching goals have to be to do our best with the best information we have to protect our students, faculty, staff, and our communities. This is certainly an historical moment with a unique situation that we've never experienced before and for which there is not a template nor a playbook to guide our response. I am incredibly proud of the dedicated staff and faculty who are working tirelessly to make good decisions using compassion and common sense and doing so as quickly as possible. Right now, with the best information that we have, our decision is that we need to pause. We understand the impact that the governor's executive order has had for many of you with your school-aged children, and we certainly recognize and want to acknowledge the stress and anxiety that this situation has created for all of us. We're pausing to make plans for a transition to primarily a remote working environment, and therefore, all of our campuses will be closed on Monday, March 16th and Tuesday, March 17th, except for specifically designated employees. If you are a designated employee, you will be contacted directly by your supervisor or someone from the college. For students, the college continues to remain on an extended spring break beginning Monday, March 16th and going through Sunday, March 29th. All curriculum classes, including online courses, except for BLET at Northwest Center, will essentially pause during this break and their due dates for assignments will be extended until after March 29th. We will not provide on-campus support services like advising, testing, and tutoring to students on Monday and Tuesday but we hope to continue critical services for our students beginning again on Wednesday. Our goal is to use these two days to transition to remote instruction and telecommuting and to, to fully develop our plans on how we move forward with on-campus services and staggered work hours if necessary. We'll need some designated employees to help us with that critical transition planning. This is being treated in the same way that we would treat closing due to inclement weather. So full-time employees will not have to take leave and they will be paid for the days that we are closed. We also recognize the financial impact that this has for our part-time employees. And during this pause, as we work through the transition plans, we will do our best to develop ways to limit the financial impact for all particularly our part-time employees. I believe this course of action is our best plan for now, but as you have seen, things are changing on a dime. Please stay informed by monitoring your email, checking our college website and social media platforms. We will continue to communicate often with the most up-to-date information available at the time. Again, this pause will allow us to get ourselves into a situation where we can calmly and effectively plan for a transition in operations. The way we do what we do may look very different, but rest assured Forsyth Tech will still be here loving and serving students and our communities with excellence. I believe these next two transition days will help us do that efficiently and effectively, but in truth, only in hindsight will we, we'll, will we be able to look back and evaluate our decisions. Yesterday, I heard a quote that resonated strongly from a school superintendent following the announcement of the closing of all K-12 through schools. They said, in the end, it will be impossible to know if we overreacted or did too much but it will be quite apparent if we underreacted or did too little. Each of you and your families are our top priority. And if in hindsight, 
We find that we have overreacted. I am going to be okay with that. We are truly in this COVID-19 crisis together. If we recognize the power of coming together and struggling through this together, we can certainly come out on the other end of this better off together. Stay safe and healthy. Thank you.